Hi, this is Julie with Beadaholic, and today I want to show you how to embed a pin back into an ultra suede backing for your bead embroidery or brooch projects. A lot of different applications for this. So if you were to do a cabochon here where I bead embroidered around it, and let's say you want to turn this into a brooch. If you finish the piece like this first and you want to add the brooch back, it would have to just sit on top of the suede backing like this. You could either then stitch it on or you could glue it. Either way though, you're going to see this back panel of it. Now here's another brooch I did. This is a little different one because I do have some filigree pieces here sandwiched between. But you'll see with this brooch back, what I did was I actually embedded the brooch into the suede so that you don't see this backing. You just see a nice solid piece of suede and then the two actual closure points showing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really very easy to do. So take your backing and what you're going to do now I haven't cut this one to size. If you were going to do it on something like this, you would want to cut it roughly to size so you have a good idea of where to place this. We're going to open up the pin back. And then we're going to go ahead, lay it where we want it to be on our piece of suede. And now we're just going to lower it ever so slightly down a little bit. And I've just got a regular pen right here. And I'm going to make a mark right here up along the interior edge of one side and then the interior edge of the other side. Just two little marks. Then I'm going to go ahead, fold my suede piece in half, make a little snip, I'm going to do that on the other mark as well. sure if this one was quite a deep enough snip. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and this is going to be the back side so we don't see those marks on the front side. And we're going to thread first the end which has the extra little piece of wire protruding out of it first because it's going to be a little bit more challenging to get that one through later. So I'm just putting it right through that little slat, that little slit I made. So it comes up the top. And then on this one, I'm just going to pull it over. So that went through as well. And there we have it nicely embedded. Now you can do one of two things. You can put a little bit of glue right under here if you like, or if you know you're going to be gluing this onto the backing here, you can just put glue on top of it when you glue the piece all the way on. So just go like that. So then what you're going to do is you're going to trim this according to size. And if you're going to do an application like this, you're just going to trim it however big you want it. And then if you were to do, let's say, let me finish trimming this real quick. Of course, you'd trim this quite a bit better. You'd be a little bit more careful. I just want to show you how easy it is to trim this down. If you were going to do something like this, you would trim this outer edge to be a little bit larger than this size. And at this point, it would just have your lacy stiff stuff on the back. You'd put it on, glue it to the lacy stiff stuff, and then trim your actual ultra suede backing to match the edge of the laces. And that is all there is to embedding a pin back into ultra suede for your bead embroidery and other projects.